Another way to measure concentration in a market is the herfindahl hirschman Index, or HHI. The herfindahl hirschman Index is calculated by the formula. The herfindahl hirschman Index is equal to the size of firm 1's market size squared plus firm 2's market size squared plus firm n's market size squared, where n is the number of firms in the market. The market size is given either as a decimal fraction or as a percentage. If the decimal fraction is used, then the Hirschman index over 0.18 is considered to be highly concentrated. If a percentage is used, the Hirschman index is over 1800 is con considered to be highly concentrated. The HHI index below 0 0.01, or if the percentage is used 100, then the market is considered to be highly competitive. A HHI index below 0.10 or 1000, if a percentage is used, then the market size is cons considered to be unconcentrated. If the HHI is between 0.10 10 and 0.18, or if the percentage used is between 1,000 and 1,800, then the market is considered to have a moderate market concentration. A HHI above 8, 0.18 or above 1,800, if a percentage is used, then the market is considered to be, have a high market concentration. First, square the market size or multiply the market size times itself sell either in absolute terms or in percentage terms of all the firms in the market. Sum up the squares. Compare the result with the index numbers provided by Herfindel and Hirschman. Let's see how the herfindel hirschman index is calculated. Let's calculate the herfindel hirschman index using a percent of market share. If an Suppose an industry has four firms in it, firm A, B, C, and D. Firm A has 38% of the market share. Firm B has 25% of the market share. Firm C has 20% of the market share. And Firm D has 17% of the market share. Now let's calculate the herfindahl hirschman Index. First, write down the formula for the herfindahl hirschman Index. Since there are four firms in our, the example, the formula for, will be the market share of firm A squared plus the market share of firm B squared plus the market share of firm C squared plus the market share of firm D squared. Next, substitute in 38 for firm A's market share into the formula. Next, substitute in 25 for firm B's market share. Next, substitute in 20 for firm C's market share into the formula. And finally, substitute in 17 for firm D's market share into the formula. Next, each of the numbers will need to be squared. Squaring means that the number will be multiplied times itself. For example, 38 will be multiplied by 38. Multiplying 30 times 38, or scoring 38, gives 1,444. Multiplying 25 times 25, or scoring 25, gives 625. Multiplying 20 times 20, or squaring 20, gives 400. Multiplying 17 times 17, or squaring 17, gives 289. Next, we're going to add the results of the squaring together. So adding 1,444 to 625 gives 2,069. Adding 2,069, adding 2,069 to 400 gives 2,469. Finally, adding 
2469 to 289 gives 27 or 2758 once the index has been calculated it will need to be interpreted as you may remember the herfindel hirschman index is interpreted using the following criteria if the hhi is below one one hundredth or if the percentage is used one hundred the market is considered to be highly competitive if the HHI is below one tenth or one thousand if the percentage is used then the market is considered to be unconcentrated if the HHI is between one tenth and eighteen hundredths or if a percentage is used between one thousand and eighteen hundred then the market is considered to have moderate concentration if the HHI is above 1800s or if the percentage is used 1800s then the market is considered to have a high market concentration. Now let's compare the calculated value with the criteria for the different levels of the concentration set down by Herfindel and Hirschman. Is 2,758 less than or below 100? No. Is 2,758 less than 1,000? No. So let's move down to the next criteria. Next, is 2,758 between 1,000 and 1,800? No. So let's move down to the next criteria. Next is 2,758 greater than or above 1,800? Yes. Since 2,758 is greater than 1,800, this indicates a high level of market concentration. Since 2,000 758 is greater than 18, 18, 1,800, there is a high market concentration in this market. Let's recalculate the herfindel hirschman index using decimals instead of the market share. Let's look at calculating the herfindel hirschman index using decimal fraction, fractions representing market share. Let's look at an example of the herfindel hirschman index calculated using the decimal representation of the market share. Firm A controls 38 hundredths of the market. Firm B controls 25 hundredths of the market. Firm C controls 2 tenths of the market. And Firm D controls 17 hundredths of the market. So the first step is to write down the formula for the Hirschman, herfindel hirschman index. Since there are four firms in this example, the formula, the market share of firm A squared plus the market share of firm B squared plus the market share of firm C squared plus the market share of firm D squared will be used. Let's substitute in the values for each of these market shares. 38 hundredths is substituted in for firm A's market share. 25 hundredths are substituted in for B's market share. 2 tenths is substituted in for firm C's market share. And 17 hundredths are substituted in for firm D's market share. Now let's square each of these market shares. Multiplying 38 hundredths times 38 hundredths or squaring 38 hundredths gives 0 0.1444 or 1,444 ten thousandths. Let's multiply 25 hundredths times 25 hundredths or square 25 hundredths giving 625 ten thousandths. Let's multiply 2 tenths times 2 tenths, or square 2 tenths, giving 4 hundredths. Multiply 17 hundredths 
times 17 hundredths or squaring 17 hundredths giving 289,000 thousandths. Next let's add the squares of each of the firm's market share together. First add 1,444 ten thousandths to 625 ten thousandths which gives 2,069 ten thousandths. Add 2,069 ten thousandths to four hundredths which gives 2,464 ten thousandths. Next add 2,064 69 ten thousandths to 289 ten thousandths which gives us 2,758 ten thousandths. As you may remember, the herfindel hirschman index has the following interpretation. An HHI below 1 one hundredth, then the market is considered to be highly competitive. An HAI, HHI below 1 tenth, then the market is considered to be unconcentrated. An HHI between 1 tenth and 18 hundredth, then the market is considered to have moderate mar market concentration. And HHA above 18 hundredths, then the market is said to have a high market concentration. Let's now compare the calculated herfindel hirschman index 2,758 ten thousandths to the criteria set down by Herfindel and Hirschman. Is 2,000 is 2,758 ten thousandths less or below one one hundredth? No. Is 2,758 ten thousandths less than one tenth? No. Is 2,758 ten thousandths between one tenth and eighteen hundredths? No. Is 2,758 ten thousandths above? 1800s? Yes. This indicates that there's a high level of market concentration in this particular industry. Since 27 or 2,758 ten thousandths is greater than 1,800s, there is a high market concentration in this industry.